Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today I'm doing a sketchbook tour on Drawloween, which is an October drawing challenge that takes place every single day for the month of October. And I did Mab's Drawloween, and I will link that prompt list, and I will link all the supplies I used and everything I'm referencing um, down below, and there is a lot of fan art. So get ready for fan art. I have never done a sketchbook that contains so much in my life, but here we are. It was, it was very interesting and I learned a ton. The major base of all these pictures and portraits is Indigo from Daniel Smith. And the outside border for all of these is the Derwent Graphite Blocks. And every single page had to be sprayed down with a fixative to get it to stay. So are you ready? The first prompt was self-portrait, and I combined me with the Frankenstein Bride for this sort of mashup. The second prompt was haunted, and I did sort of a crow, raven, any excuse to incorporate a bird. You'll see. <laughs> I love birds. Third prompt was witch, and I have one coming from the depths. She's very creepy. The fourth prompt was night circus, and here is my haunted carousel horse. The next one was cryptid and I created a beast that is a horned swan. This prompt was salamander and I painted a fire salamander. I like the dots. Next one is werewolf and here is my werewolf howling to the moon. This prompt was anthropomorphic so I have the moon as she is a woman is sleeping. Here is classic horror, here is some fan art, and I did the movie poster for Silence of the Lambs, and really any excuse to include an insect. <laughs> this is winged, I painted a vulture, and there's a video on how I did this wood grain. I will link all those below. This one was Labyrinth, and all I can think of was the 1980s Jim Henson, David Bowie movie, and this is Sir Didymus, he was a fox sort of Muppet that wrote a dog named Ambrosius. And again, fan art. This prompt was poisonous and I painted a hooded patooey, which is sort of in the old Oriole bird family. And they live in New Guinea and they have a sort of um, betcha toxin that's in their feathers and all their tissues. And I'm not sure this one worked because this bird is orange and black. So it's already Halloween ready. So monochromatically, it's not not as exciting. This one was Lagoon and I painted a deep sea diver. There's also a video where I'm painting this one talking. This one was interesting. The prompt was um, Yakai, which is a Japanese mythology prompt. And I, from that prompt, I painted a y Yukiona, which is a snow woman spirit. So here is my version of a Japanese woman snow spirit. This one is fairy tale. I painted the bluebird and I used a Victorian crowned pigeon as my inspiration. And that's a really old uh, fairy tale from the 1600s, which is sort of an early Cinderella-ish. I'll link it if you want to read, read this about the story. It's very interesting. Um, mytholo um, mythological was the next prompt. And I used something from the Inuit mythology and this is called an Akulit. And this is a part whale, part wolf. And it's typically depicted as a whale with legs, but it is a whale that when it wants to roam the land, turns into a wolf. And when it is done, it returns to the sea and becomes a whale again. Very interesting. This one was vampire and I went for historical interesting reference. So I painted Vlad the third of Walchia, Walachia. I apologize for my pronunciation of things. Um, and he was known as a Dracula, the son of Dracul. And I tried to paint, use the browns as dried blood. <laughs> I know I tried to go creepy for Halloween. This is Spell, so I did a frog prince. This prompt was pumpkin and I absolutely wasn't feeling it. So I decided to draw a lioness and decided her name was pumpkin. So any excuse to include an animal of Africa is a good excuse. This one was um, giant monsters. And so I painted Mothra, again, fan art. <laughs> this uh, prompt was Omen and I painted an owl because in Native American cultures, 
Um, owls are a symbol of death and to even hear one could bring you bad luck. But I love them, they are absolutely stunning. So I include all the birds. This prompt was Wicked Weeds and I did um, a climbing poison ivy. We have a ton where we live, so leaves of three, leave it be. Frankenstein, fan art. There's a movie still photograph that I copied this from that I thought this would look like really cool fan art and it might work. This one was Insectoid was the prompt and I have a video talking about this one. This was from the movie Empire of the Ants and I just, I love the insects and this was also from a photograph that was taken on set and I tried to recreate it, so more fan art. This prompt was Deep Sea and I did a fangtooth fish which lives very, very deep below in the depths of the ocean. And this one was Fang and this is a golden snub nose monkey. And this is another one where painting monochromatically I don't think did him justice. This, this primate is a perfect example of excellent color theory in nature because it has the most beautiful golden fur and a bright turquoise face. I'll link down below. He's uh, endangered, so very cool monkey. This is um, from the prompt Crypt and I did a cholo, which is a hairless Mexican dog that protected the Mayan crypts and sometimes were locked in with the deceased to protect them into the afterlife. The next prompt was Serpentine and I was going off Greek mythology. So I painted a Greek woman and I started thinking about the ancestry of uh, Medusa and her two sisters. So maybe they had a descendant and she is one with the snakes. This prompt was UFO. And so I did a nod back to my um, July watercolor, World Watercolor Month challenge where I did these little tiny landscapes. And here's my UFO, kind of like a family portrait pic that was taken on vacation. This prompt was costume, and this one is actually a gift for someone, but I did the Predator um, from the Predator movie. So here he is in his mask, and he has bunny ears on, which is a nod to the movie Donnie Darko. But yeah, I've never painted anything like this, so this is real fan art. And this book is only 30 pages. So for day 31, I did the inside cover. And this was supposed, to, the prompt is Monster Mash. And I did Raggedy Ann as an octopus. So <laughs> there is all of my 31 day Drawloween challenge. Here is the front cover. And I tried to take some of the graphite blocks and the indigo and create an interesting looking pattern. Um, if you're going to paint on linen, use a very affordable and expensive brush because it breaks tons of bristles. Just FYI. And then here's the back with a little pigment I had left of the indigo. This sketchbook is by Speedball. It's the 300 gram version. They have a 200 gram that's red. Um, I would definitely go with thicker paper because this isn't 100% cotton. I'd say maybe 25% if that. It's a very wood pulp cellulose, so it repels the pigment when you go to paint on. And I will link what all this means, why you want to go by gram over pound. I'll link that video and why you want to have a higher percentage of cotton in your watercolor sketchbook for painting. But it, it was fairly budget and I've never done this drawing challenge before, so I didn't want to invest a huge chunk of money to see if I could actually do this and pull this off. I've never done tons of spooky paintings or anything like this before. Typically for October in the past, I have done ink drawing challenges. So doing this, this, this was amazing. This was a lot of fun. I wasn't sure that I was going to be able to pull off some of these prompts, but it works. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this again next year or what my plans are going to be. We'll see what, what pops up and captures my interest next October. Um, tomorrow I'm going to do a full review on the Derwent XL Graphite Blocks. So if you're interested in this product or you own this product or you just, 
curious to know what I thought of it as I was using it for this creator challenge. That video will be going up tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later. Bye.